and engaging in human trafficking is nothing more than what it is. It's pure evil. State Representative Frank Ryan says human trafficking continues to be an issue across the Commonwealth. And it's among the fastest growing criminal enterprises in the world. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Evan Forrester. State lawmakers are now working to curb the problem and protect victims in our area. Fox 43's Rachel Yankunas reveals how prevalent human trafficking is here in South Central PA. Thousands of victims and hundreds of cases have put Pennsylvania among the top human trafficking states in the country. Fox 43 reveals what's being done to combat a problem that's happening in our own backyards. Human trafficking is a major problem, it's a crisis. And it's happening right here in South Central Pennsylvania. State Representative Frank Ryan's mission is to put a stop to it. What a lot of people don't realize is how prevalent it is with Interstate 78 going close by, Interstate 81, just well north of us, Interstate 80. These are major transportation hubs where people would be trafficked. Box 43 reveals looked at data from the Human Trafficking Institute. Pennsylvania is ranked fourth in the nation for the number of cases making their way through the state's federal courts. It's incumbent upon all of us to be aware of it. And that's why I applaud you for what you're doing. Representative Ryan co-sponsored a package of bills that would arm prosecutors with more tools to go after traffickers and protect victims. They passed the state house, but only three of the bills have been signed into law. I think one of the things that really stunned me quite a bit was how tied in human trafficking was to the drug trade. We saw some cases where uh, parents would actually traffic their own children in order to get money for, for drugs. That's something Crystal Perry sees too often. Most of my clients, their first trafficker was a parent. Perry is the Human Trafficking Advocacy Coordinator for YWCA York and the chair of York County's Human Trafficking Task Force. She remembers her first successful case. This specific victim had what on the streets is called a gorilla pimp. What a gorilla pimp is, is it's someone that uses that force. It's major beatings, it's trauma, you know, things like that. He preyed on her for some drugs that she used. He got her even more addicted. Um, the FBI found her in jail with like all of these charges and they helped her get out and she's doing amazing. Fox 43 reveals that convicting traffickers isn't easy. We met with Aaron Kraska, Chief Deputy Prosecutor in the York County District Attorney's Office. It can be incredibly difficult um, when you're talking to victims or survivors of human trafficking. You're talking about somebody who has been put through a lot. There are a lot of things that prevent victims from wanting to talk about what happened. In 2019, 148 traffickers and 540 victims were identified across the Commonwealth, according to data from the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The real numbers, though, may be much higher. I think it's more prevalent than even we as law enforcement or prosecutors know. Um, I think the number of times that it's reported and the number of times that it's investigated and prosecuted doesn't fairly represent all of the trafficking that's going on. The goal now is to get victims treatment. Representative Ryan is already working on the next steps. When someone's been trafficked, if they escape it, it's scarred them for their entire life, and we need to be able to provide counseling services. That's the next series of things we want to start doing. If it was your parent that put you in that position, how do you trust again? If it was your mom or your dad that did it? And so I think we have to recognize that, that we're all fragile human beings. Harrisburg is a hot spot for human trafficking, but there is significant underreporting. Awareness can shed some light on the problem to help survivors find the services they need. We have a list of resources online as well as some of the red flags of human trafficking. Just head to fox43.com. Fox 43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Send me an email at fox43reveals at fox43.com.